Let me give you a statement that cannot be argued with. It is better to be young and healthy than old and sick. Well, you know, uh, both aging and illness can be traced to happenings at the cellular level. Our cells are constantly multiplying, but not endlessly. But what happens? Eventually, cells die, either due to injury, which is called necrosis, or due to programmed cellular death, and that is known as apoptosis. Well, what happens then? New cells, of course, get created, and there's always enough cells because of the multiplication of, of the cells. But sometimes cells stop multiplying and don't die. They go into a state that is called senescence. And these senescent cells can be problematic because they still keep churning out chemicals uh, for example, uh, cytokines, inflammatory substances. And that then can damage neighboring cells, and that damage can translate into disease and can translate into aging. So obviously, there's a lot of interest and a lot of research in trying to find senolytics, substances that can do away with those useless and possibly dangerous senescent cells. In one uh, interesting paper recently published, Chinese and uh, American researchers described uh, searching through some 46 plant-derived substances to see whether or not they had any kind of activity against senescent cells. Well, the first thing that uh, you do in such research is uh, go into the laboratory and uh, use some cell cultures, in this case, prostate cancer cells, to see what these extracts do. And um, they were particularly intrigued by one specific compound, so-called procyanidin C1, found in grapeseed extract, that was particularly useful because it turned out that at low dose, it prevented the inflammatory compounds from being secreted by these senescent cells. In a higher dose, uh, the cells were killed. That's pretty interesting. And then there was even a bonus part to this research. They discovered that when they implanted human tumors into mice and then treated them with uh, procyanidin C1, it turned out that the tumors did not grow as much. In fact, in many cases, even shrank when they used both chemotherapy and the grapeseed extract. The effect was better when they added the, the, the seed extract than with chemotherapy alone. A very interesting research, but of course, uh, <clears throat> as we always say, mice are not men, and it is going to take some human trials before we can give any kind of recommendation about the use of uh, grapeseed extract in, in humans. But at this point, I think we can say that if you have aging mice at home, you can give them a treat, give them some uh, grapeseed extract, and uh, maybe they will live a little bit longer. And that, for today, is our Copper Joe.